morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Rohan, and here are my teammates Brian, Donglu, and Joy. The work we're about to share with you today, we have explored potential applications of intuition in creative decision-making context. We worked with, sorry, we worked with our sponsor, 10,000 Feet, which is a design and technology company here in Seattle. They've been building a product in-house called Insights. Insights is an online tool meant to help creative teams reach, from, reach more confident decisions. As it stands today, Insights divides the decision-making process into three modes, explore, analyze, and decide. These modes help creative teams bring their ideas together, evaluate them as a group, and leverage what they learn to support decision-making. The current Insights experience appeals to reason, aiming to give designers a way to apply classically rational techniques to subjective problems of design. And it does a remarkably good job at that. But when considering creative work, reason alone isn't the whole story. We make our best decisions when we rely on a powers of reason guided, sorry, yeah, when we rely on a powers of reason with the guidance afforded to us by intuition. It's a mistake to think that reason and intuition are separable. The prevailing wisdom from cognitive science tells us that they operate in parallel and continuously to govern our behavior in subtle yet very powerful ways. As we learn more about how creative decision making works, we identified three additional modes which add to the insights experience. Before we can begin exploring, we need to orient ourselves to the task at hand and the styles of thinking that it requires. After we perform analysis, we need to or align our thinking as a team so that we can interpret what we've found. And once we reach a decision, we want to extend the artifacts of our process. Building a body of knowledge and multiplying the value of our efforts. So we prepared a short video showcasing Mercury, our proposed expansion of insects. Creativity has a hard job. It helps us deal with ambiguity, lets us thrive in uncertainty, and gives us the ability to make things where nothing was. It's how we come up with ideas. A lot's been written about how to have ideas. What we need is a new way to see our ideas at scale and pick the right one. Our sponsor, 10,000 Feet, saw this opportunity and created Insights, a strategic collaboration tool to help teams make confident decisions. It starts with an online space to gather and share ideas. Provides customizable design thinking tools to compare them. And captures the results as data to inform a final decision. But data isn't everything. Successful creative work comes from the balance of reason and intuition. To achieve this balance, we've created Mercury, an expansion of insights designed to surface and share expressions of intuitive thinking. The components of Mercury were designed according to principles we derive from the teachings of psychology and decision-making science. There are tools that encourage intuitive modes of thought by amplifying intuition's voice. Tools that help us fluidly record and reason about those thoughts so that others can understand them. And tools that make an archive of why we do what we do, allowing for fast, clear, and long-lasting communication. Reason and intuition both have important roles to play reaching decisions quickly and confidently means listening to both. When we set out to address this project, we were faced with a broad problem space. How can intuition help us make creative choices? In order to start wrapping our heads around this, we reviewed leading research in behavioral economics, cognitive science. We spoke to experts in the fields of project management computer-supported collaborative work, and design education, 
to see how the teams they've led have made forward progress when faced with difficult decisions. We ideated around problems that are common to group work related to identity, conflict resolution, and getting unstuck. And we put our ideas in front of people, getting feedback on what was and wasn't useful in making confident decisions. These findings in hand, we mapped a series of principles from the synthesis of our research to our target modes of work and used the map you see here to identify what we felt were our most promising concepts to develop into prototypes. And I'm going to let Dong Lu introduce you to our first one. So lightning round is a time-constrained pair sorting activity aimed at encouraging intuitive judgment. The idea behind it is that when you have less time and information, you focus more on your intuition. In evaluating our design, we were trying to understand how uh, breaking a large decision to a series of smaller ones affects the satisfaction with the result. We asked participants to view a set of candidate image and choose one to feature the magazine article. In, the, in our test, we show uh, options two at a time and give participants five seconds to choose one and move to the next round. The progress repeated until they stop or exhausted their options. We find that while time pressure is e effective at um, encouraging a decision, in the case of decisions they cannot change, it creates undesirable stress. Um, they, they wanted to uh, skip some difficult pairs. They wanted to review all the options at the end, giving a greater strength of control. Based on this finding, here is the design of the lightning round today. We still have a timer, but we added a shuffle button for times when user cannot decide. They can also stop whenever they have seen enough and view the summary of the their progress. The summary shows how many times an idea was chosen, and then they can make their own choice. Then Joy is going to talk about the second idea. Thank you, Dong Lu. So our second idea is reflective prompts. This refers to opportunities for designers to easily attach their rationale to, uh, to actions they take in the tool. The theory is uh, com communicating your thought process is valuable and improves teamwork, but it takes time. So we wanted to provide a fast inline tool to help users put feelings to words. To, to evaluate this idea, we look looks at how different kinds of guided reflection influence uh, influence people's ability to explain themselves. We ask the huge participants to choose a typeface for the title of three articles. Each time they choose a font, they were asked to use one of three methods to explain their choice. These methods uh, were a single prompt, a series of prompts, and video input. What we learned was the single prompts was the least helpful. A series of prompts make people think more and increase their satisfaction. Video inputs allowed people to fully express themselves, which they liked, but some feel uncomfortable being recorded. So this is our final design of reflective prompts. We give users several options and as you can see here, we use set of prompts as the default option. This set consists of short phrase, phrases, can be shuffled and applied to a variety of situations. Moreover, users can record a video to communicate their thoughts more fully and or use emojis to add fast, simple reactions. Now I will hand over to Brian to summarize. You may have noticed that we referenced articles in the two prototypes that we've shown. 
And we wanted to test our ideas in a reasonable facsimile of how they'd be used in the real world. So what we did is propose that our prototypes took place at different moments in the design of a travel magazine article. By placing participants in the mindset of making a subjective choice, we could more better evaluate the performance of these designs. And by sh giving them a shared narrative structure, we could locate them in a design workflow. So looking ahead, we will be presenting this work to our sponsors next week, and we're excited to get their feedback on the final product. And we hope that features like the ones we've shown today might serve to incorporate elements of intuitive thinking in future versions of Insights. So we'd like to thank you all for joining us. Uh, big thanks to Olin Ronning and 10,000 Feet, our project sponsors, for making this possible. And a deep debt of gratitude to the MHCID faculty for their patience and their guidance over this last quarter. And then we'd like to invite questions if you have any. <laughs>